trust is the fabric of every relationship. Whether you realize it or not, but if when you get in love, when you fall in love with somebody and you begin to love somebody, the immediate illusion is that what keeps us together is love is like a glue. But it's not love that is a glue, it's trust. Because the moment this lover that you have, that you've been with maybe for years or decades, if he violates or she violates the trust, it's amazing how in two seconds all the love evaporates. It's amazing how the diamond rings become dirt, how the mansion becomes a shack, and how his beautiful Audi becomes nothing and he becomes a terrorist. Just yesterday he was the love of your life. Just yesterday he was so wonderful but when you find out a text message that he's not on a business trip but he was some other loser, someone else, something begins to happen. Trust is broken and when the trust is broken relationship does not exist. You have his last name, you share everything, you have children with him, but you don't have no relationship. How could it be broken so fast? Why? Because when there is no trust, there is no love. When there is no trust, there is no intimacy. When there is no trust, there is no relationship. If trust is the fabric of every relationship. Same thing happens in your job. When you call your boss in the morning and say, <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sick but Mr. so-and-so uh, could you have me excuse today he said oh yes I hope you get well you get up on Facebook you say I am on my way to Las Vegas I'm so excited to get rid of this stupid job and the boss for next few days so I can have fun and it so happens that your boss checks your Facebook during the break what happens does the boss say ah he just had a weakness no the next day the boss comes and all the brownie points you had with the company, all the respect he had for you, went down the sewer pipe. He comes to you and says, you're fired. You say, why? Because the trust is broken. You can't be here. No trust, no job. No trust, no relationship. No trust, no love. That's why Paul is saying, I know in whom I believed. He said, the reason I trust him, because I know him. And the reason why I know him is because I trust him. You want to trust in God more? Get to know him. You want to get to know God? Start to trust him. But remember this, your relationship with God will never grow higher than your trust in him.